thanks for coming on this very hot day, and it's an exciting time with the Superman movie being filmed. And as you're all probably aware, we're just a couple miles from where Superman was actually created uh, in Glenville. And who am I? Uh, I'm Mike San Giacomo, and it wasn't so long ago that I was where you are. I was a reporter at the Plain Dealer for 30 years. Um, one of the reasons I came here back in 89 was because Cleveland was the home of uh, one of my inspirations, Superman. And I was just thrilled to be in the same place where Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster lived. And I, when I came here, was one of the first things I said when I got to the newsroom, I said, so where's the billboard saying Cleveland, home of Superman? Where's the statue? Where's anything? And I remember getting bewildered looks from some people. So uh, I, I quickly learned that there was a lot of people, in, even in Cleveland, who weren't aware of our amazing heritage. Um, so being a proud comic book nerd my entire life, I convinced my editor, who didn't know any better, to give me a weekly comic book column that was syndicated. And I wrote about Superman, among other things, in comics. And I was told by my editor at one point in the 90s, he said, do you realize you've written 500 stories about the mention of Superman? He said, no, but apparently I did. Um, during that time, I would write about Cleveland's uh, lack of interest in the Man of Steel, and kind of slightly prod them into doing something, and it never worked. I met with various administrations, and everybody said, oh, that sounds great, but nothing ever happened. And one day in 2006 or 7, I got angry and I asked my editor if I could actually let it out. So I wrote a full page story saying, what, what are you doing? Why isn't Cleveland doing this? And why aren't we celebrating Superman like we should? We're the only place in the world, in the world, that can say Superman was a party. And that met with a, a lot of response. We, we had called for a meeting, anybody interested? And we had more than 100 people show up. I forget how many, but it was more than I expected. And out of that, the Siegel and Schuster Society was born. And we've done a lot of really cool things uh, to honor Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster, the creators of Superman. And my friends are going to be telling you more about that in a little, in a little bit. Uh, but the one thing that, that was, after a few attempts at a statue, I was at a uh, comic book club, a comic book convention in Westlake, and um, Cuyahoga County Council President Pernell Jones walked up to me and said, hey man, how come we don't have this ca Superman statue? I was like, oh my god, you're my best friend. Hmm. So that's what started this whole current Superman statue project. I mean, Pernell has been an amazing ally. He helped us cut through a lot of the red tape to get to where we are today. And um, so we are actually on the verge of being able to say, look up in the sky, it's Superman. I mean, because our statue, similar to this one, is going to be in the sky. Um, and this statue won't be built because of city grants. It won't take any taxpayer dollars. Uh, it'll be statues of Superman, Joe Schuster, Jerry Siegel, Joe's wife, Joanne, and an enigmatic phone loop I was suspicious clothing inside, and it would be built because ordinary people from around the world, around the world, will contribute to make this possible. Because Superman is what we do. We've already actually heard from people in other countries wanting to contribute and saying we will be there to see this statue. So today we announced the start of a fundraising effort to raise at least 2.3 million, hopefully 2.5 million, to make this dream come true. And yes, we believe that a man can be So thank you for that.